Abigail, the only granddaughter I had. I knew this was going to happen. But I would introduce her as <clears throat> my granddaughter, my best friend. Cliff Williams misses his best friend. His granddaughter, Abby, was his shopping sidekick. His fellow moviegoer, Toy Story, was tops. And they enjoyed the classic television comedy, The Andy Griffith Show. Their favorite episode, the one in which a goat accidentally eats dynamite and sends Mayberry into a frenzy. Watch it, watch it, Barney. Yeah. I still watch Andy every day when I get home from work. Every day. It's on when I get home. I'll watch a couple of episodes, but I always think of her when I'm watching them. Because she's right there with me. All the time? All the time. After Abby decided she wanted to play softball like her friend Libby, Grandpa drove to Delphi. That was the weekend before the tragedy near the Monon High Bridge. She called early in the week and said, Grandpa, I'm all signed up for girls softball and I'd like you to come down and take me shopping for a glove and a bat and shoes. And It was so warm down here. We got back to the hotel and we played catch out in the parking lot with her new glove, and then we went to the park, and I got to pitch to her, hit her some flies, the whole old grandpa thing. Among their last conversations, Grandpa shared this advice. I told Abby, I said, you just gotta work hard, practice, you might not get to play a lot, but just be part of it and work at it, and you will get it. And that's how we left it, she was, it's so excited about it, to be on a team with Libby and do all that. Every year around the 4th of July, Abby spent a week at church camp in Michigan after spending seven days with Grandpa. Their memorable outings included fireworks in Grand Rapids and horseback riding at the Double J Ranch. Following Abby's death, Grandpa made a tough decision. He honored their annual tradition by arranging for a riderless second horse wrapped in a wreath representing Abby's and Libby's favorite colors. Like in years past, he spent an hour on the trails. It was really neat. It was something you had to do. Um, yeah. Yeah, I... Uh, it was hard. Oh. That was the hardest thing this summer, was that. But you did it because? I loved her so much. You still love her? Yup. That love extends to this crucifix that once belonged to his mother, a family heirloom that now watches over Abby's bedroom. To lose her was not even on the radar. You, you never thought about anything like that. And then to have this happen, I, yeah, I just, I, I still don't know how to do it, how to live without her. While I sat in that interview, mm -hmm. you could just feel that love in that room. And for Grandpa Cliff, he finds comfort in the big and small things which filled his heart. I was just simply amazed that they had a connection with the Andrew Griffith Show. He was a little mm -hmm. girl from the 21st century who loved the show from yesteryear, and it was just amazing to spend that time with him.